Before we get started, y'all, we're outside in nature in beautiful Marietta. So when you hear the dogs, that's just part of the ambiance. Just stay with it, okay? Stay focused. <laughs> we have to introduce uh, our very own Byron Stewart. One and only, y'all. One and only. First guy on Simply Bastard Life. We're First going, man. Yes. We're going place. We're co-ed, y'all. <laughs> so if I mess it up, and there, if you don't see any more guys, it's, it's probably not No, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. I told y'all, Simply Bastard Life is for everyone. If you're new Thank you so much for coming. Subscribe below the little red button. That you just click right there. Just use your Gmail account. Yeah, it's not that hard. Go ahead and do it. Um, but if you want to page stalk us for a little while, try us out before you marry us. We understand, okay? But then come on back. Anywho, <laughs> we are doing our first Friday spotlight, and you know this is my favorite part of Simply Passionate Life. Mm -hmm. Simply Passionate Life is not just about me. Precious KW is about people living simply and passionately, intentionally. So I want to introduce you guys to this guy. Say hello to the people. Hello, people. <laughs> <laughs> I've known this man for over 10 years. It's been a long time. It's been that long? It's over 10 years. <laughs> it's been like 15. It's been like 15, probably, yeah. yeah. Crazy. But um, it's a privilege to know you Thank because you. I'm sure it. if I didn't know you from that long, I would have wanted to get to know you. Sure, anyway, sure. Somehow. Thank you. I appreciate it. Anyway, so let's get started. Y'all ready? Let's go. So Byron, who are you? Who is Byron Stewart for those who don't know you, who didn't go to Howard or live in D.C. or in Atlanta? Awesome. Um, that's a really, really tough question. <laughs> Uh, before I answer that, let me just say a few things. First of all, uh, thank you so much for the opportunity to have me on. I don't take it lightly. Secondly, these are like my introductions like before I preach, but <laughs> secondly, um, I think it's awesome too, the stuff that you're doing with Simply Passionate Life. I think that for a lot of people who are married and they have families, I think that they feel like they have to set their goals and their passions aside because they want to raise a family, because they are married, because they want to do so on and so forth. So I think your show and your example is a great message for any parent out there, any adult out there that is thinking they have to put their things on side for the sake of their family. You're doing both. You know, you're you're knocking it out of the park as a mother, uh, a business owner, an educator. So this is awesome. So like and subscribe, please. <laughs> it's a great, great show, great channel, great business. She's going great places. Um, with that being said, who is Byron Yes, yeah, who is Byron? This is Byron. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just, He's Howard. It's 15 Bison. years. This is I how know. it goes. <laughs> so, By so Byron Stewart. Byron um, is a child of God, first and foremost. Um, and I think that I can't get around talking about anything else until I talk about God and what he's done for me and what he's done for my life and our lives and um, all that. So definitely a child of God. Uh, I'm a husband. I am a son. I'm a brother. I'm a bison. I'm also an orange man, Syracuse. We didn't make it to the tournament, but we're still, you know, watching and all that stuff. Um, a motivator, a mentor, a mentee, um, are just some of the titles that I hold. By being a creation of God, um, I'm here to bring people closer to God through the work that I'm doing, to help people really realize their potential, um, and to use the gifts and the abilities that God has given us to help people get closer to God, to have that connection, uh, and to figure out how they do that once they figure out their why. Awesome, awesome. So Byron is being, you know, so, so modest, of course, uh, of course, um, but I, I love how you talked about who you are outside of your roles as well, because yeah. sometimes you get so caught up in, you know, our roles, and we talked about that on previous episodes, mm -hmm. so y'all go did. back and watch that, yep. um, but, you know, you've started something, and I love people who start something, because we start we something, should. yeah. Um, you know, what is Mr. Purpose, and like, tell us more about that movement and what you started with that. Sure. Um, so, so Mr. Purpose was actually um, a business I started a few months ago um, where I'm doing motivational speaking focused around purpose. Uh, and there's so many different ways to describe it. I think the simplest way that I put it for people um, is your why. Why were you created? What is your purpose? We were created by God to do something. And there's so many scriptures that talk about our purpose on earth and it's to spread the gospel throughout all nations. But once you have these gifts and abilities, then your how is where people kind of get stuck in the process. Right. So for example, people will say, my purpose, I really feel like I need to help people. But there's so many ways that you can help people, whether it's through Simply Passionate Life, whether it's through a mentoring program, whether it's through cooking or feeding the homeless and so on and so forth. But it's really having a conversation to figure out why you were created and what it is that you're supposed to be doing. 
All that to say what? Purpose is what we focus on. Okay, Creating see? purpose, living in your purpose, transitioning into your purpose. Awesome. And you know, the way you sound, it is so funny because my husband and I have this argument all the time <laughs> because Simply Passionate Life was almost called Passion Over Purpose. Okay. Almost. And he was like, don't do it. Um, mainly because I have the biggest like qualm with so much focus on what you do. Right. And I love how you focus on how right, right. you do and why you're here. What is such a service level question and it really doesn't matter what you do. I'm a motivator and a counselor. It doesn't matter if I work at Roly Poly. Right. Okay? Right. I will be motivating my coworkers. I will be putting passion into those doggone raps. But that was you know, that's who I am. And so I love how you're kinda of helping people get to the bottom of it. Like, Absolutely. And, and realizing that how you do that might change through seasons of life. Absolutely, and that's spot on. And I and I think a, an important part about that is um, a lot of time I think in the context now that we live in in 2017 um, everyone feels like they have to start a business everyone feels like they have to you know create this program but like you said your how can be working at a quick trip mm -hmm. and everyone that comes in and interacts with you they can see God through the work that you're doing mm -hmm. through the customer service that you have or being a good parent right. you know or being a good brother or just mentoring someone because whether or not we know it there's someone that's looking at us and our example and how we exist in that role in that situation that's taking note and can say to themselves wow you know what that person that really had an impact on my life they they were this right they may not have been you know the ceo of an organization they may not have gone to college but they those are the people who have the most impact on our lives so it's right. important to really you know understand and appreciate where you are and that your journey is special <laughs> <laughs> We're collecting yes. offering after this. After, one. yes. There's about a payout. Yeah, yes. <laughs> it's not going to him. No, no, no. It's going to, no, I'm joking. No, it's going to Jesus. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Some of it. No, I'm joking. 10 no, we're 10 not, 10 no, we're not giving no offerings. Don't worry about that. Okay. Uh, uh, but for real. Okay, so we talked about who Byron is and mm -hmm. what is Mr. Purpose. But one thing I really, I really want, we've been talking about the difference between doubt and fear and yeah. a lot of snags that impact Simply Passionate Living. And I just am, am, admired the fact that you and your wife mm -hmm. moved from D.C. where you were born, raised, brewed, yeah, and yeah. came to Georgia. And so why? Why did you do that? Why did you take that leap and, and, and dispel doubt and fight fear to do that? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I um, I want to take credit and say that, that it was my decision and I told my wife that we're packing up for a better <laughs> life in Atlanta. Um, but actually, it was her idea. Okay. And so I think that she... My line sister, by the way. It's her line sister. <laughs> <laughs> and I met her at Howard, great, great woman of Howard, great woman of God as well. Uh, we've been married for three years now. Um, so we, we met at Howard, we dated, we you know we got engaged, got married in, in, uh, in D.C. For two years, she kept planting the seed of, I think we need to move, I think we need to change. Um, because something in this area, maybe it's um, contentment, maybe it's even comfort, that's holding us back from really reaching what we're supposed to do. So it's funny how when we were going through the process of moving, and this is how I know God was in the process, uh, we sold our house in a day. We put our house in the market, sold our house in a day, we was able to transfer our nine to five jobs down here seamlessly. Throughout that entire process, I was able to be in a new environment and it forced me to really think about what I wanted to commit to and literally through praying, through assessing, um, Mr. Purpose came into my spirit to really just you know, be a part and start an organization and start um, a business that will really help people go through the same thing that I was going through in terms of questioning purpose and questioning your passions yeah. and really using your talent and abilities to do the things that you're doing. So, And I think that one of the things that people run into when it comes to taking a leap, um, two things, number one, comfort, and number two, fear, mm -hmm. in that order. Uh, I think a lot of people are just comfortable where they are, where they were, what they're doing. Um, that they feel like there's no need for them to change. Right, right. And then I think the second part about it is fear. A lot of people um, are scared to fail. And I think with social media and, which, and, and with how much our information and business is out there in the yeah. world, <laughs> a lot of us don't want to face failure. Right. Where we put ourselves out there, we put our business out there, and then it doesn't work out the way we want it to right. do. There's another thing, and I'm, I'm gonna shut up after this. There's another <laughs> thing we run into. People aren't patient either. Come on, so go, that's key. Please put it, what, key three. Key three. Oh, something past living. People aren't patient, <laughs> and what it is is that they'll they'll start that new job, yeah. and after a week, they're like, "This isn't for me." Right. You know, when it's like, "Have you really put in the time to really see if this is the organization?" Because right. maybe it's not that position, but it's in the same company, but in a different position. Right. But try it out. Like really, you know, put the time and put the effort into doing it. So that when you've been there for two years, you can, without a question, say, this isn't it. I tried education for three years. I know for a fact right. this is not it. 
Instead, you can't cross off your list. Five years later, you sit back saying, you know what? Maybe I should have been educated. You know, <laughs> right, maybe, right, right. Maybe that teaching job I should have given 100%. Or right. Check your input. Right. Are you giving it 100% of what right. you're doing? So when you start Simply Passion Life, and I can say for you, you're giving 100% of it. You're traveling out to Marietta, which is the boonies from where she's from, <laughs> to do this. She's bringing her, she's her own camera crew. She's her own editor. She's her own, she's creating the content. She has her, that's 100%. Whereas the person who's saying, eh, I'm just going to kind of wing it, I'm not going to give it 100%, when it doesn't work, they, they cross that off and say, this didn't work. But maybe if they put in 100% of their effort, Come it would have flourished. <laughs> yes. So be patient. Be okay to fail your way to success. Check your input and make sure that you spend enough time into doing whatever you're doing to really do that. And then when all those things are there, take that leap. Yes. Make sure that you're putting yourself in a position uh, to be successful, and then once you take the leap, make sure that you're investing enough so that when you are successful, you know, it'll definitely flourish. Right. Absolutely, absolutely. It's so funny how that key three of Simply Passion Living kind of flew in there, being <laughs> patient. <laughs> but really, like, it's so real, like fear. Yeah. We just talked about that as well. And how that level, I love that. We'll probably start talking about comfort levels in one video upcoming. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that you know that that C word like being comfortable is really yep. really dangerous sometimes like it's a great there are seasons of comfort you know Absolutely. we all have them um, but sometimes you get to the point where you are afraid to take a leap because Absolutely. of your worldly comforts and you talk about social media so many things um, in that that really touch and I hope that you guys are paying attention or have to rewatch this <laughs> to get <laughs> some of that so now we talk about who Byron is. Yes what Mr. Purpose is and kind of like why you took the leap, what made you take the leap. So now it's like, when did you decide to start it? So I know you said once you got out of your comfort zone, yeah. you were able to kind of make the decision, but when was that and what was like that aha moment for you? Yeah, um, I, so we were talking about this off camera, um, but I started motivational speaking in 2012. Okay. Um, and long story sh very short, um, it didn't work out the way in which we wanted it to work out. And so for a long time, um, I viewed that as a failure and I didn't want to get back into motivational speaking again because I didn't, you know, I didn't want the same result. And so um, having moved and being in a different scenario, being in a different setting, being in a different state under different circumstances, um, I literally was praying and asking God, you know, what is my purpose? Mm -hmm. And literally um, I was taking a nap and y'all can call me whatever you want to call me, <laughs> David, Daniel, Nebuchadnezzar, whomever. But Mr. Purpose, literally the name just came to me. Crazy. <laughs> Miss, this, seriously, remember I told y'all that Simply Passion Life almost had a different name? I was asleep when I woke, I literally turned over and said, Aunt, what about Simply Passion Life? Yeah, add that to the list. Yes. And turn back over, like, that's Stuff all happens. Is. Key number five, get sleep. <laughs> rest, right? Get rest. rest. Absolutely. Trust the God and rest, right? Absolutely. He just adds all kind of keys. Yeah, we're just, we're just gonna, I got a whole bunch. But, no, but, but, so literally it came to me. And so um, we talked about fear, we talked about patience. Um, I really had to really think through um, how I wanted to do this differently um, this time around. And so everything that we just talked about before, I was patient. I wanted to make sure that I had a strategy. Um, I want to be mission driven as well. And this talks about purpose. Um, in the sense that a lot of us will start things, but we don't know where we want to take it. We don't know why we're doing it. Mm. The first organization that we did, we were trying to blow ourselves up. You know, we were trying to, let's be on Black Enterprise. Let's do this for us. Let's mm. really self-serve ourselves and build ourselves up. Uh, whereas now the focus is really about how can I help you out? Right. You know, how can I take my experiences and use those as a lesson for you to learn from? Uh, and for you to gain from so that yeah. you don't make the same mistakes that I made. And then just being consistent. Yeah. I said, whatever I do, let me be consistent in this thing that I'm doing. So I'm post four times a week. So I do videos. So I do speaking engagements, big or small. I don't care who it is. Right. Um, and really put forth that effort to say, I'm going to give it 100%. And if this isn't what I'm supposed to be doing, then I'll know because I gave 100%. Exactly. Exactly. Because it's so important when we talk about being consistent. You, know, you have people that you meet and they're like, oh, you're big time. You're doing big things. Like. <laughs> Okay, in my thousand foot, square foot, you know, you don't know where I stay. You right. don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, but reality is like just being consistent and being um, persistent. Yeah, exactly. Keep uh, being persistent and knowing that there's nothing that you can't, you know, learn from yeah. life. Just because Absolutely. you don't do it or it doesn't come out the way you want it, doesn't mm -hmm. mean that you fail at it. So I love Absolutely. the fact that, you know, you were able to rest and pray and get to understand like this is 
It's time. Right. It's time to do this. It's time to do it differently. And I love that also because sometimes we try something. It yeah. doesn't work the first way. doesn't mean that you just give up on it. It right. means exactly. that you might need to recalibrate. You might need to go back to you know, the drawing board. If you're watching this a year from now, Simply Passionate Life may have evolved to something different. Absolutely. And the only person that you're really liable to is God. Like exactly. if you're doing what he wants you to do, you, you're free to change that. I've been the teacher. I've been a personal trainer. I've been a therapist. I'm a counselor. And I'm a YouTuber. Absolutely. Okay. But in all those things, who I am hasn't changed. Hasn't changed. And I believe that as you're motivating through Simply Passionate Life, you're also motivating people as an educator, as a trainer, as so on and yeah. so forth. So it's not that... Interrelated. It's, still it's interrelated. all interrelated. So I, so I believe for me that, that and you, if people may argue and just and do whatever it is, but you're precious. You're a motivator by default. Yeah. Like so, so you whatever capacity you're in, like you're an educator, you're an educator who just happens to be a motivator, who right. has her channel. Whereas I'm a consultant who just so happens to be a motivator. Right. It's going to be in every... It's, it's, it's part of who we are. Right. And so it's going to... It's gonna, appear in whatever capacity we're in. Exactly. You know exactly. I mean? There was no job title savior, but Jesus right, right. happened to be, you know, Absolutely. He, you know what I'm saying? So he was a carpenter. So uh, really what you do is just uh, secondary. You Absolutely. Know, after a while, you start to realize that. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So we've gone through. Yeah, we've gone through everything. We've gone through everything. We've gone through <laughs> who, keys. what, when. Uh, where? So how can we stay with you? <laughs> how, can we, how, can we, how can we connect with sure. simply um, Purpose so and can, simply passionate life. How can we say I like to keep all the bloopers. I yeah. don't know if y'all noticed that, but I don't even really edit out like my mistakes. Just I edit out content. There. Yeah, it's like I want y'all to know I'm real. You know? Yeah, we we keep. So how can, so how can you stay in contact with her? Like subscribe. No 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 no. Her. How can you stay in contact with her? I'm gonna translate. Like and subscribe here. She has her website. She has her Instagram. You can find me the same exact way. Um, my Instagram is signed underscore with purpose. Um, I have them on Twitter. I have a, a YouTube. Well, I'm about to have a YouTube account. Uh, but my website is byronpsteward.com, and that will be transitioning into mrpurpose.org. Um, so whenever you see this video, it'll be either one of those. Yeah. And she'll post them at the bottom. I'll let her know. Um, but that's the best way to, to, to get in contact with me. Awesome. Well, I'm so thankful that you allowed me in your home, y'all. Look at this backdrop. First and foremost, <laughs> I'm going to do a, a, a 360. Oh my gosh, um, I love it, and it's just been a blessing uh, to speak Thank with you. So I hope you're in, and this is for the guys, for the guys that subscribed. You know, I told y'all it's gonna come through. It's come through, y'all, because you know it really is living passionately and living um, on purpose. It's not <clears throat> about energy. Right. It's not right. about being giddy. You know, it's about being intentional. Absolutely. And so, adding Absolutely. energy into whatever you do and giving a hundred percent as a stay-at-home father as an artist, mm -hmm. as a teacher, as a stay-at-home mother, as a mother who is a lawyer who works 90 hours a week. Whoever you are watching this, we want you to know that your who doesn't change. Mm -hmm. Your how may change a lot of things, a lot of times, but you can be intentional. You can live simply and Absolutely. passionately. I want y'all to subscribe. We said like eight times, so this is the last time. Come back next week, and um, it's been a pleasure. I usually dance at the end. I don't know if you <laughs> I'll dab on him. He's not trying to dance me, y'all. He's busy. <laughs>